The Force Awakens takes place, get this, 30 years after Return of the Jedi. That's a long time. It would be an understatement to say fans are excited. And I'm going to put Katie Crowther in that category. She's live with Star Wars fans in Waukesha. Yes, it is the day everyone has been waiting for. I'm actually joined by Brett and Kiara, a father and daughter super fan team from Sheboygan. You guys are here. We're here at the Brookfield Cinema, uh, the Majestic Cinema. Tell me, you guys have been here since 1 a.m. Yeah, we got here at 1 a.m. We're seeing all six movies, original six movies, before we see the new seventh movie tonight. And just talk about you got all decked out. You made this yourself. And talk about what you are for people who don't know at home. I'm Ahsoka Tana from the Clone Wars. Got that? Got that, Charles? <laughs> and talk about how excited are you? You're pretty young, but this is something that you guys have enjoyed together as a father and daughter team, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, when I was younger, he sh showed me them, and I was in love with them at first, first sight. Awesome. Uh, so you passed on the love. You passed. The, you told her, may the Force be with you. I did. I passed the torch and uh, made her a Star Wars geek like everybody else in the family. So we've carried on the tradition, and now we're coming to the, to the premiere tonight. We're just so excited. All right. Yeah, and big expectations for tonight, right? Huge. All huge. Right. As you heard it, huge expectations for The Force Awakens, guys. I'll be back at 6 to bring you more. Reporting live, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. Lots of